Before we jump into development, ideation is a great way to ensure that our design ideas flow without interruption. Having generated lots of ideas in my previous video, I'm choosing which ones I want to explore further as my process of ideation continues. Each of the thumbnail sketches that I've chosen will be the starting point for further ideation. I'm taking my sketches one at a time and with a pen and paper I'm moving into the next phase of ideation. I'm sketching quickly in 2D and 3D and I'm simply making small incremental changes to my original idea. I'm continuing with my small desk bin design and each sketch I draw is a slightly different version of the previous one. I might just change the angle of the sides or make the opening at the top bigger. I might curve an edge that was previously straight. I could increase the radius on a corner or reduce the overall size of the base. I might change the proportions but I'm only making one or two changes with each new version of my idea. It's important to note that I'm not developing the idea. The development stage comes later. I'm not considering detail. I'm not considering potential materials or manufacturing processes. I'm not even thinking about my client. I'm not expanding upon an idea or focusing in on features. I'm not thinking about an end point and I'm not considering whether my ideas are good or bad. By keeping my mind clear of these things, I'm able to work without the pressure to produce a standout product. I don't have to be innovative or clever. I don't have to reflect upon environmental issues, gaps in the market, or any competition my product might have. I don't even give much thought to how it will function. I'm simply ideating, so there's no right or wrong. No ideas are better or worse than any others. I'm producing a page of sketches and crucially a bank of ideas, any of which I might choose to focus upon when I come to the development stage. In my previous video and in the early stages of design ideation, you saw me limit myself to one minute per sketch. Now I'm in the next stage of ideation and I'm working from my post-it notes I'm still limiting the time I allow myself on each sketch. I want the process to be quick and flowing. I'm focusing on filling my page and I'm overlapping my sketches to make good use of the space. I'm not striving for neatness. In fact, any energy I expend on the presentation of my page is energy I could have spent on keeping my ideas moving quickly. Remember to subscribe for much more and hit the notifications tab to be the first to see my next videos. You can find me on Instagram at Product Designer Maker and download resources at www.productdesignermaker.com. Thanks for watching.